Hello boys and girls, welcome to it. A uh, bit of a different one today. As you can see, I'm in my house. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the bike rack that I've been using for the past few weeks. It's the Toole T2 XTR Pro. I think I got that right. First of all, apologies if this is uh, a bit disjointed. I went out the other day to film and I forgot to take my dad cat and it was a particularly windy day. So there'll be a mixture of uh, me talking here and myself talking on location, so apologies, but audio is important. This particular model retails for roughly $1,200 Australian, and uh, on screen now is your local currency conversion for that. This also fits a wide range of different sizes, tire widths, um, tire diameters, I believe it's 20 inches up to 29 inches uh, right here where we've got Sarah's bike. She's running the 2.8 inch on a 27.5 wheel. And of course at the back there, which you can kind of see, is mine that is running a 29 with a 2 point, is that the rear? 2.4 inch. So for mountain bikes, you're pretty sorted. Um, I've had my gravel bike on here before. That's got a 650B tires. I don't know what that is. The front wheel sits in this cradle, which is then clamped down with the clamp here very securely. There is absolutely no way your wheel is going to get out of there. And uh, on the rear here, we have a um, ratcheting system which ratchets down on the rear wheel. Very, very secure, just like the front. And it's quite a handy little device. Um, a typical ratchet, you pull it one way and it'll tighten down. There's a click and you push it the other way and it should release quite seamlessly. And that's just a single strap that goes over with a rubber stop here, which is adjustable so that you're not clamping down directly onto your rim. I suppose another thing that's great about this design is it is zero frame contact. There is no part of the mechanism or the structure of this device that clamps down on anything but your wheels, which is fantastic. Carbon fiber approved, don't even worry about it. Oh, <laughs> it has a weight limit of 55.5 kilograms, which means that not only can you throw your five inch tires on, but you can also throw your five inch e-bike tires on because this is rated essentially at uh, roughly 27 28 kilos per bike which i mean realistically should get every single e-bike on here it's a sturdy bit of kit the xtr also has the option to include a two bike add-on uh, that retails for 750 australian dollars roughly and um, essentially just extends this out to fit another two bikes for a grand total of four bikes so if you've got a big family this could be a viable option for you and uh, while i've got you down here i'll show you one of the cool features of this rack um, so obviously we've got both of the bikes the mountain bikes fully loaded but i want to get it in the back of the truck so what do i do the bikes are in the way well i mean you pull this one and without it collapsing on me whoop. Oh, that's heavier than I thought it was going to be. You can then sort of collapse down the rack so you can get yourself access. How cool is that? The XTR also includes a uh, one key security system uh, for added peace of mind. So I'll demonstrate exactly what that is right now. So obviously a likely scenario you'll come across is you got the bike secured, but you need to pop into the shops. Well, don't worry because they've got a little, like obviously it's not going to be thief proof 100%, but it's better than nothing. You feed this wire up around here somewhere and wrap it around the tube. Oh no, that's probably not the best place for it. Okay, let's try that again. I haven't actually locked this bike up before, so this is a learning experience for me. We're just going to quickly wrap it around the fork. Yes, I know, I can hear people screaming already in the comments. You just feed that one through, and you grab your key, and it's just a simple lock. And, I mean, most sweet thieves are going to, I mean, they're going to look at this, they're going to have a hard time with it, but, I mean, that's just your extra little bit of peace of mind. Super simple, and you can obviously do that across 
both of the bikes. They both have a inbuilt wire system that just kind of feeds up into the, um, the ratcheting arm here for the front wheel. Another thing I love about this rack is just how it seems to be squatting down quite a bit today. How simple it is to load and unload. I'd estimate about 10 seconds per bike. Well, let's put the timer on and see how we go. This one first. Hooked. Um, up. And the bike is out. All right, bike number two. Off. Down. There you go. When you're not using it, of course, you can just kind of fold these arms away. And with the pull of the same lever I demonstrated before, that will collapse the rack up against the back of the vehicle. And taking this thing on and off can't be easier. It's uh, got a knob here, so as you can see, you can turn that for days and nothing's gonna happen. Um, but that is the knob that kind of uh, locks the device onto the receiver. So right now I've got it wound up quite tightly and that sort of pushes a wedge out from the mechanism uh, to kind of sit it, ooh, sit it snug. <laughs> it does do that sometimes, uh, just been sitting there a while. And then it should just be as simple as pulling it out. Yep, there we go. And it's off. Another cool thing about it is it's got wheels. It's the XTR and the R stands for uh, rollers, I think. Anyway, it's got wheels. So you can do stuff like this. And then getting the rack back on the vehicle is just as simple. is locked and ready to go basically. So I suppose I've had a quick look at what makes this bike rack such a nice bike rack but there are a few downsides which we'll go through right now. So I suppose the biggest downside is this bike rack is uh, quite expensive. There is the argument that similar to wearing a helmet you want to get something half decent because you're throwing your three, four, five six thousand plus dollar mountain bike uh, on the back of your vehicle basically going 100 k's an hour and i mean do you really want that falling off in saying that though there are a few other things that yeah i don't know if it's a design choice or what it is but oh, let me show you when i've been uh traveling on the highway or across rough terrain or even small speed bumps. I've noticed that, and I can kind of demonstrate it here a bit, the bike seems to move uh, a little bit up and down like it's got a little bit of play. I don't know if you can really see that on camera but it's like a distinct, like it's secure, it feels secure but whenever you go over a bump it just, the bikes have a little bit of movement back and forth. It, it just has a bit of play between the down position and the lock position. Uh, it's a bit hard to describe so yeah, let, let me demonstrate another way. Another thing, and it's kind of a big one, but the rack doesn't give you an option to uh, include any lights or uh, license plate holders. So I've had to actually engage a local um, auto electrician to rig up these lights for me and you've got my accessory plate there. I don't know why Tool A doesn't want to give you the option to, you know, be essentially street legal <laughs> with this rack. Uh, particularly for my vehicle, it's quite hard to see the indicator lights because they're at the bottom of the vehicle and those are the only ones. So I kind of was left without a choice and had to engage a tradesman. It did cost a bit of money, so if you run into a situation that I'm in uh, with this rack, I would recommend keeping that in mind for costs. 
You also need to keep in mind that uh, this one's designed in a way that it has a little uh, pin that I pull out. So right now it's in the down position. So you can see the plates, you can see the lights, but when I have the rack up, obviously you still need to be able to see the lights and the plate. So I'm then able to unlock that mechanism and display the lights and plate when it's in the up position. So yeah, it's a bit complicated. I know other brands like uh, Yakima, they have options, um, but there just isn't anything for this rack. It's very odd and I don't know why that is. If you're watching this, uh, Tule, can you please reach out to me? Cause I would love to know. It's a bit silly. <laughs> So there you have it, the Tule T2 XTR Pro bike rack. Overall, a quite a solid offering from Tule. It does as advertised, it's well made, it's secure, and yeah, I kind of like it. What do you guys think? Do you guys own this particular rack or are you after a rack like this? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and uh, as always, have a good one.